Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I'm review for you a movie I just watched called The Clove Hitch Killer. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one is available in select theaters on digital and video on demand now from IFC Midnight. This one is a drama horror mystery movie that is not rated, has a one hour and 49 minute runtime, and it's directed by Duncan Skiles and stars Charlie Plummer, Dylan McDermott, Samantha Mathis, Madison Beatty, and Brianna Sherman. So this movie is about a serial killer known as the Clove Hitch Killer because he would tie a clove hitch knot um, at each of the victim's locations or something along those lines. So this movie is about a lot of just really religious people, uh, people who are really into family values, and of course those are always the worst people. <laughs> uh, so the son begins to think that possibly his dad could be the Clove Hitch killer. He finds his dad like hiding stuff, and um, he's got like these secret compartments in the house, and he's got his own secret shed that nobody's allowed into, which seems really strange to me right off the bat. Like, how come nobody really questioned that before that? Uh, and so he kind of starts investigating, only his dad is like super onto him, and he knows he's kind of snooping around and finding this stuff and coming up with reasons for why he has things or he's done things or whatever and the kid you know of course it's your dad you don't know if you should believe him or not uh, and he ends up meeting this girl who also is obsessed with the clove hitch killer and she kind of is always writing about him in the school uh, assignments and stuff like that but he's gone dormant for 10 years, and I don't think anybody is really particularly looking for him anymore. It's kind of like, it's kind of old news, but the town still remembers the victims and, and all this kind of stuff. So I felt like this was a really cool, suspenseful mystery movie uh, where, where you're kind of along for the ride for the investigation that the kids are doing. Uh, with the timing, you know, this kind of seems similar to me to Summer of 84. Uh, not sure which one I like better. They were both good and they're both interesting in their own ways. I thought the, the guy who played the dad and the guy who played the son, they're both really good. They did a superb job in this movie and I feel like this was a very well produced movie. Uh, there were a couple maybe sound effects that I felt were a little weak or just a little off a little bit. Minor complaint, but when you watch the movie, it just if you, you, you notice a couple times, you just feel like the sound effects are off a little bit. But uh, I really did enjoy this one, and I think it's one you guys should definitely check out. I think for a score on this one, I'm gonna give it eight out of ten. Superb mystery horror movie. <laughs> uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribed for more videos. Check out the videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com, and I'll see you guys next time.